The season 2 update of Modern Warfare 3 just dropped and there were many buffs and nerfs and so I went through and built the top 5 best guns to be using right now. Which the season 2 update brought in a brand new SMG called the Ram 9 and then we also got a brand new AR called the BP-50. I'm not going to have these be a part of the top 5 list, but they are very good, so I want them as like an honorable mention. This BP-50 AR with no attachments has absolutely no recoil. Very fast time to kill. You guys are going to love the AR. Same with the Ram 9. This thing has like no recoil, still a lot of mobility. Time to kill is very fast. Both of the, of the new guns are very, very good. So if you guys do want a screenshot of the Ram 9, I got the suppressor on there just to stay off the radar and there's not much recoil on the weapon so we don't need recoil control which is why I got the hand stop to increase the mobility. The fire rate's very fast so we got the 50 round mag and then to remove the little bit of recoil it does have we have the stock pad and then the retort 90 grip tape for the AR the BP50. This gun again really doesn't have much recoil so we just got the hand stop to increase the overall mobility. The one downside of this gun is that it is lacking damage range, so we got the high green round, so then we can increase the damage range without hurting the mobility of the weapon. Again, the fire rate's very fast, so we got the 45 round mag, and then to make this weapon a little bit easier to use, we got the grip tape and then the Moat 40 stock. Now, for the first weapon on this list, the MCW just got a nerf. Wasn't a big nerf, but they did lower the mobility, so now the sprint to fire speed is a little bit slower. Same with the ADS speed, and so now this build is basically mitigating those cons while still having very good damage range and very little recoil. You guys are going to love this build. It is so nasty, and I don't think I've shown it on the channel yet. So, to keep yourself off the radar, we got the Shadow Strike Suppressor, and the game just timed me out. That is so annoying. Do you want everything in Modern Warfare 3? If so, check out Guapsi. They're a team of people who will play in your account to legitimately unlock anything, even iridescent or that brand new Warzone nuke skin. I have been working with Guapsi for over a year and I haven't seen a single negative review. I'll have their link in the description. Say you do want a little bit of recoil control, then I would add the L4 flash hider and then if you want this thing to have absolutely zero recoil and you don't mind the mobility being a little bit slower, then I would add the Jack BFB. I just think that's a little bit OD. So they just lowered the sprint to fire speed and the ADS speed even more. I was going to add the hand stop, but there is a little bit more recoil on this class and you guys will see why. So I am going to be adding the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, which is going to boost up the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed. Plus give us a little bit of recoil control. If you are very good at the game and you can control this weapon, then I would add the hand stop, which will just basically give you a little bit more mobility, but you don't get that recoil control, which the reason I really want the recoil control is because we're actually going to be adding the midnight 13 inch barrel. Previously, I would add the cyclone, but if you look at the midnight stats, we actually get 5% more damage range, making this thing kill quicker at range. And then this one's also going to help increase the ADS speed. The ADS speed just got decreased on the weapon, so this is going to help bring that back up. Plus, we do get a little bit of mobility, so you can move around the map a little bit quicker. But we are losing a little bit of our recoil control, which is why I wanted the Phantom to mitigate those cons. But again, if you are very good, feel free to run the hand stop. And then since this is for the public matches, it takes a long time to kill the enemies. A lot of the maps, like you just get in so many engagements. And so the 40 round mag really does help. So then you don't really run out of ammo in the middle of the engagement. Although if you do want to run like an optic or a stock or a laser ammunition, then I would take off the 40 round mag to add those since this last rear grip attachment is going to add a lot of recoil control. That firing aiming stability is going to make it so once you hit that first shot on the enemy or basically when you start to fire the weapon, it's not going to sway as much. It's not going to really shake, especially because we get a lot of gun kick control. And so overall, this really does help control the recoil on the weapon. If you guys do want a screenshot of the class, it's my favorite public match MCW right now. And then for the secondary, we do got the Akimbo Renetti. This thing is absolutely broken. I get so many streaks and kills with this class. And so you guys will definitely be dominating lobbies with that Akimbo. So for the vest, we're actually running the Ninja vest, which is a brand new vest that they just added to the game. This is basically doing what the covert sneakers do, but it's going to be in the vest form and it does a little bit more. It's basically going to make it so if you run the shuriken or the throwing knife as your lethal, you're going to get an extra one of those and it's going to replenish that every 25 seconds. I do wish it was like any lethal, but then that would be kind of like the demolition vest. But just because I don't really run throwing knives or shurikens, but if you do like to run those or, you know, you're just trying to mix up the game, the ninja vest is a great way to do so. It also is going to make it so you're immune to the movement reduction effects. So if the enemies, for example, have the hollow point rounds or you get stunned or naded, 
I believe you're still going to be able to move at full speed, making it actually a very good attachment. And so now, if the enemies nade us, we can still move around very quick, and we're going to be able to survive the nade because we are going to pair that up with the EOD padding. And then we got the running sneakers, so then we can run around the map and like we can basically tax sprint a little bit longer. I was going to add the lightweight, but I like to tax sprint. I do that a lot, so the running sneakers does help a lot. And then uh, I don't really die too much in the game, and I always run out of ammo, so I got the munitions box. Although you can run whatever you want. On the brand new maps like Stash House, that's a very tiny map. A lot of the enemies are throwing nades and stuns and things, and so the trophy system actually does help a ton. And I'm curious if the ninja vest actually prevents you from being stunned. I'm assuming it doesn't because that would be a little bit too broken, but that is going to wrap it up for the MCW. Now let's go over to the striker. So the striker actually just got a buff. They increased the overall damage range, making this thing kill quicker at range. In this class I got for you guys, you guys can see mobility very good. You can move around pretty quick. And then the overall recoil control, there is absolutely no recoil and a lot of damage range. This thing is super easy to use. I've given you guys this build in the past, I think, but it was like months ago. So for the suppressor, we do got the Sonic Suppressor just to increase the damage range. Yes, we're losing recoil control, but there really isn't much recoil on the weapon, so it doesn't really matter. For the underbarrel, we are adding the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. This is just going to add a lot of recoil control. A lot of people don't realize how good this Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip is. I use it on a lot of my guns, and just people don't realize how OP that is. What you guys could also do is add the hand stop. That's going to give you a little bit more mobility. If I'm on the very tiny maps, I'll usually run that just because... This gun already has no recoil, but then for the barrel, we are going to be adding the Striker Recon uh, Long Barrel. This thing just got a damage range buff, so if you add this on top of this, that is going to have a very, very good damage range. This thing kind of feels like a pocket AR now, but the mobility still feels a little bit slow. So we got the Lockman Nemesis 10 stock. This is just going to increase the ADS speed, so now the gun's going to feel a little bit snappier. Yes, we are losing recoil control, but like I said, there really isn't any recoil on the gun. And then for the rear grip, this is personal preference. If you are going to add like an optic, laser, ammunition, or a magazine, usually I would take off the Sock and ZX grip just because, yes, this adds a lot of mobile. I mean, it adds a lot of recoil control, but it's not really needed. This is just going to make the weapon absolutely broken in the recoil control department. What you could also do is take off the stock. The main part of this build is going to be the barrel, muzzle, and the under barrel. So if you guys want to take a picture of the striker, this is a absolutely insane class. Then for the secondary, we actually got the core 45 with the conversion kit. This class, oh my days, is absolutely broken. This pistol kills so quick as long as you hit your shots. And then we got the suppressor on there, so you're not going to be on the radar. You got the hand up, so you can still move around pretty quick. You guys are going to love that secondary. Then we are going to be pairing up this build with the Assassin Vest, which the Assassin's Vest is not only going to keep you off the radar from the UAVs, but it's also going to make it so you can kill the enemy and there's not going to be like a death skull above their head. If you didn't know, whenever you kill an enemy, the teammates can actually see like a skull above their dead teammate's body, letting them know that their teammate recently died. This is going to eliminate that and you're not going to be on the radar if the enemy's calling a UAV. Plus, both of these guns are going to have a suppressor. And so with this class, you are never going to be on their radar. The enemies are never going to know where you're at, especially because we got the covert sneakers. So now your footsteps are going to be mute. And then if they do kind of figure out where you're at or that you run into like a proximity mine or something, you got the EOD. So you don't have to worry about dying from there. And then the assault gloves are just going to make it so you can jump ADS a little bit quicker. Although the scavenger gloves might be helpful because with this class, you're for sure going to be going on crazy streaks. And then you're going to run out of ammo. So the scavenger might be pretty helpful, especially because we don't get a field upgrade when you run the assassin vest. And then we got the stim in case you're about to die. You can pop the stim, which they actually just buffed the health regeneration in this game. So now I believe you regenerate your health about 25 or 30 percent quicker which is overall a game changer and like their health regen on this game was so slow and this game is very fast paced to where that actually does impact the game a lot for the next build i want to go over though this is going to be the ram 7 this is a little bit more of a faster paced ram 7 build if you do want more damage range i'll give you a variation of the build but as you guys can see there's absolutely no recoil on the gun super easy to control so 
to get that we are going to be adding the cast's break because this gun has a lot of horizontal recoil this is going to specialize in that horizontal eliminating the horizontal recoil and then we got the Bruin heavy support grip for the same reasons we also get a lot of aim and auto stability so now our gun isn't going to sway as much making it a lot easier to get the first shot on the enemy and we get the fire name and stability so once you hit that first shot it's easier to stay on the target so usually i would add a barrel but in this case we're actually going to be adding the retort 90 grip which is going to give you even more recoil control making this gun even easier to use and then we got the hunker stock pad previously i was running the hvs 3.4 pad because it does give you a little bit more recoil control but i'm always sprinting around the map i'm always tax sprinting and so me losing sprint speed and tactical sprint speed actually is pretty annoying when i add the hunker 5 stock pad this is only gonna lower like my strafe speed which you don't notice too much kind of up to you. you can add whichever one you want for me i like the hunker 5 stock pad so i can still tax sprint a little bit faster and then we got the 40 round mag sometimes i will add the 60 depends on how many engagements i'm getting into again if you want more damage range then i would add i believe it is going to be the xrk core mark no 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 the cronin headwind long barrel this one's going to increase the damage range a lot so if i'm on the very big maps then i'll usually take off the magazine or the rear grip to go ahead and add that barrel but this is going to be like the best class for multiplayer in my opinion you don't really need that much damage range you guys will love this build and then for the secondary we do got the renetti on here the renetti this is just like a single fire well a single one not the akimbo and this one is like my overall favorite just because it's very consistent you have a lot of ammo when you have the slate reflector on there it makes it so there's less visual recoil on the gun what you could even do is add the eclipser this one will make it so you move around a little bit quicker actually yeah i think i would rather have the eclipser because you know you already swapped to your secondary pretty fast then we got the demolition vest which is going to make it so now we have two lethals and we can replenish those lethals in our tacticals every 25 seconds which if you run the breacher drones with the ordnance gloves you can throw them really fast and it's so funny and i love running like the snapshot grenade with this so then i can like throw the snapshot grenade into the building figure out how many people are in the building and then throw the breacher drones very quickly in there and then run in there with this ram and it's just so satisfying and then just to make sure we don't run out of our ammo since i'm usually going on streaks munitions box again all personal preference run whatever you want and then the running sneakers just so i can move around tax run a little bit longer usually for the vest i like the infantry vest but if i'm running the demolition i can't run the infantry so to get the stats of the infantry we are running the running sneakers and then we got the eod so i don't really have to worry about nades that's kind of what i always run because i always die off nades and it is so annoying and so i just want to eliminate that so now for the wsp9 this thing just got a buff very very good smg they just increase the overall damage range and i believe the mobility a little bit and this class has like no recoil if you hit your shots this has like one of the fastest time to kills for all the smgs in the game and you can kill players across the map very very nasty weapon but there's a lot of recoil so we do got the Kamira vertical grip to eliminate that recoil and add a lot of stability so our gun doesn't sway and it just doesn't really bounce around the iron sights are completely chalked i don't like them so i'm going to be running the slate reflector but if you like the iron sights then that means you get an extra attachment so then you can go ahead and add the shadow strike suppressor you could even add the jack bfb to eliminate all the recoil but i feel like you don't need that much recoil control if you want you can add a barrel to increase the overall range like the reckless 90 laser ammunition maybe you could add the high grain around so then you know your gun kills a little bit quicker but i just hate the iron sights so i gotta run the slate then to add a lot of recoil control we got the classics factory stock adds that gun kick control and then the horizontal and vertical which if you didn't know the recoil gun kick is actually more important than the horizontal and the vertical recoil gun kick is like the overall shake of the gun if you have a lot of recoil gun kick control your gun really isn't gonna shake that much making it very very easy to hit your shots which is why we are adding the marauder grip this adds a lot of gun kick control and we also get more like stability and firing aim and stability overall just making the gun a lot more stable here's a screenshot of the wsp9 class and then if you guys do want to see the secondary rock and this is going to be the tire pistol with the conversion kit which actually makes this thing into like a pocket sniper this thing is unbelievably broken if you have good accuracy if you miss your shots you know it's not going to be that good but if you're good at the game you're going to love that secondary it is so fun to use got the infantry vest just so i can tax sprint a little bit longer frag grenades are very helpful you can like cook them and then throw them into like a hard point they'll blow up the second they get into the hard point so if you are good with the frags or if you want to get good with good with them you can really pop off with them 
got the dead silence because i'm running the lightweight boots actually so now i can move around the map a little bit quicker got the infantry vest so i can tax for it longer and then to make it so the enemies can't hear my footsteps in certain scenarios we got the dead silence a solid glove so i can jump ads quicker and just be able to be a little bit more on target although marksman gloves are pretty fun because it makes it so when the enemy shoot at you your screen doesn't shake as much and then there's also less sway making it so you have a higher chance of hitting that first shot eod again obviously just so you don't die by the nades now for the last class this is going to be the wsp swarm i noticed a lot less people have been running this gun but this gun is absolutely phenomenal i have so many builds for this weapon so feel free to look up cbass wsp swarm and just go through the videos i just missed every shot but you guys can see this gun's pretty easy to use and like i was saying you can go on my channel and i have so many videos on that gun and it's so annoying how it times you out why does it do that so for the first attachment on there though we got the shadow strike suppressor that's just going to keep you off the radar this is going to be a weapon that you want to be like close quarters with and so if you run the suppressor on there it makes it so the enemies don't really know where you're at really not much recoil on the weapon so we got the hand stop again if you want more recoil control feel free to run the phantom 5 hand stop we got the ruthless l barrel on here just to add a lot of damage range they this thing actually just got a buff to its damage range in the last update so if you pair this barrel up with that this thing has crazy damage range now which i don't know why more people don't use this gun fortress heavy just because this one adds so much recoil control it's like hard not to run that although the rampage is also pretty good just increases ads speed but basically once you're used to this gun it's super super easy to use and then the 50 round mag just because you blow through ammo with this gun like the fiery is insane and you go on crazy streaks and so a lot of time i will even actually run the 100 round mag if you guys do want another very good build for this gun this one's very niche and difficult to use but if you can pop off with this build you're gonna really pop off since you have so much mobility and range i usually use that on these small maps and then another one that i really like oh i didn't save it this is going to be like the rank play one if you do want to use it in rank play but now we're kind of getting off talk uh, off topic and as you guys can see i got a lot of builds on the channel so you guys should definitely subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the content and then for the secondary this is absolutely horrible this is the worst secondary in the game but sometimes it's fun to use like bad guns just because they're very fun like this one's fun it just doesn't kill very quick but in my opinion this is going to be the best setup for the wsp stinger it's like the mini uzi in the game infantry vest so we can tax for now a little bit longer i usually run this on the very small map so trophy system does come in clutch a lot salt gloves so i can jump ads quicker lightweight boots because the enemies like on the small maps they don't really hear the footsteps as much depends on how much is going on like on ship and if there's a million nades going off you don't really need covert sneakers so lightweight boots will help you more so you can move around the map quicker especially pairing that up with the infantry then eod so we don't have to worry about nades and that's going to wrap it up for the video so i hope you guys did enjoy hopefully you found this helpful and deuces